Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now I've got to um, show you my finished fairy that I made in the in the egg. I um, finished it a day. I, the part that I did, um, it's not that hard to explain, so if anybody wants to make one. Um, I've done the four parts already and this is going to be just showing you the finished thing. Or oh, five bits because I did this fairy again. Now, um, I sat it to the front of the egg and the little legs hanging down because I thought that that would be look a bit better because she was if she's too far back you can't see her properly. Um, the egg I just put another bit of trim around the back there yeah, and that I put um, a button. I threaded a piece of string through both the holes in the button and pulled that up underneath, and then I stuck that um, piece of. Uh, crocheted uh, bead on there because I thought that look good goes with the rest of it. And then I had this braid. Now this braid's got a, like a crocheted look to it with a bit of gold on it so that, that worked really well I thought. Um, I made a little nest for the little bird and um, he's one that I've had for many many, one of the ones that I actually lost and I found him again. I've got a little bit of, she's got a little bit of hair there, I'll just get that off. Um, and I sat him on her knee with her, I should say, with her, little, with her little legs, and I've put some flowers down around the side of it there. So I hope, and I'm going that can be hang, hung up there by adding a piece of string or whatever to it, and it will hang really straight because the little girl's only very light, and I've sort of, you know, helped it balance a bit. I've got it sitting here in a plate, I'll put it in the plate, um, and that sort of worked. I was going to sit it on this thing. Um, candlestick and it will work it'll sit up on that but I thought it might be better you could hang that in a little girl's room or something I think that'll look really nice I'm, I'm going to send that actually take that to the, one of the things that I'll take to the market before Christmas because now they've got my scooter I'm going to be able to pack up a few things and put it load myself <laughs> with my goodies and get down to the, to the markets <laughs> I'll get a trailer <laughs> and anyway so I hope everybody liked how she turned out and um, now I've got to get on with making the the Fabergé one for the competition. But this is this was one that I wanted to try first. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. The one that's made um, paper mache one. I've been wanting to do that for a really long time. So anyway, thank you everybody for watching, and um, I, I look forward to seeing your feedback. I'm sorry I don't get a chance to watch a lot of videos or all of your videos and all and all and comment for everybody, but I can assure you that I do take a lot of interest in what you do and if I get a chance to watch some things because I just have <laughs> things in my day now and I've got extra things now, it takes me two hours to go up the street and back and have a bit of a shop. So that's, you know, and then when I start swimming, but I still love being on YouTube and I really thank everybody and I really appreciate your comments and your um likes when you like my things and all that so if you like my work you know just tell me and subscribe to my channel um i will be holding a very special um giveaway soon for my subbies because i really appreciate every one of you and i'm making something special for one of you for my comp well for somebody to win in my competition you don't even have to make a thing how's that sound <laughs> or send anything please <laughs> so um but anyway so i'll get Hopefully get on to that in the next few weeks. So thank you everybody for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.